Hello, in this video, we're going to look at how to solve for a future value of an annuity. An annuity is a series of equal payments or cash flows occurring over a time period. An ordinary annuity is where the payments occur at the end of each period. An annuity due refers to the payments begin at the beginning of each period. The future value of an annuity, FVA, is the value of what a series of equal payments will grow to at some future date. And here we're going to look at an ordinary annuity. Again, that's where payments occur at the end of each period, at the end of each year, or at the end of each month, for example. And here is the formula for future value of an ordinary annuity. PMT is the payment. R is going to be the interest rate and N represents the number of periods. Problem number one. A person plans to deposit $5,000 in a savings account at the end of each year. The savings account pays a 6% annual interest rate. What is the future value of this person's account at the end of 20 years? Here we can use the future value of an annuity formula, which again from the last slide is as follows. So plugging our information into this formula, we have this $5,000 reoccurring a payment at the end of each year for the next 20 years. So PMT becomes 5,000. The interest rate is 6% and we plug that in in the format of a decimal. And here is the number of periods or years and that's 20. And once again we got R here in the denominator which again is the 6% or 0 0.06. So number crunching this, we get an answer of $183,915. Without rounding errors, you would get this result very similar. Now a quick and easy way to calculate this or do this problem would be to use Excel. So the Excel formula, you could type this into any Excel a spreadsheet and in any cell in an Excel spreadsheet you would type in equals FV and the following information. Notice the interest rate, the number of periods, and the payment. You must type, you must type in this equal sign so don't forget that. Alright let's move on to problem two. A person plans to deposit $5,000 in a savings account at the beginning of each year so this is going to be an annuity due. The savings account still pays 6%, and this is going to be over 20 years. So for an annuity due, the formula is going to look like this. So the slight change here is over here on the far right. Plugging everything that we have into this formula and simplifying, we get an answer here of $194,949.90. Without rounding errors, we get this result. The formula in Excel to get this result here is as follows. The interest rate, the number of periods or years, the payment, and then you're going to have two commas here and a one, and that's telling Excel to use the annuity due formula. So that double commas here is not a typo. All right, moving on to example three. Uh, here we're going to deal with monthly payments. So here we're going to make a slight change to our formula. A person plans to deposit $400 a month in a savings account at the end of each month. The account pays an 8% annual interest rate. What is the future value of this person's account at the end of 40 years? So the slight change I'm making here is I'm dividing the interest rate by 12, the number of months in a year. And the number of periods now is going to be 40 years times 12, since we're having 12 payments each year over 40 years. So that is a slight change to the formula. So plugging in our values and simplifying, we get almost $1.4 million. And without rounding errors, we get the following. And we could use Excel once again to come up with this answer. And this is what the formula would look like in Excel. I'm just taking the 
annual interest rate, dividing it by 12 for 12 months, taking the number of years and multiplying it by 12 for the number of payments in each year. And 400 is that reoccurring monthly payment. All right, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful.